How's it going guys, Zabby here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to catch the Pike Slasher here at Emerald Lake. Now, if you take a look at this fish, guys, it does get up to about 10 kilograms, so that's going to be over 20 pounds, and that's basically what it sits at. You're going to need a setup that actually fits around that, maybe a little bit below, or you can go above, depending on if you want to have a real battle or not. But just know that if you're going to try and catch this with a really lightweight setup, it's not going to work. So make sure you try and match this as best you can with whatever rods you have. Now I'm going to be using the Majesty here just because I have it from a DLC. So that's what I'm going to be using here. It is definitely big enough to handle it. And I'm also going to have a bottom rod set up to do the same thing. But before you even get to that part of the mission where you got to catch it, you do have to go into your missions here and you have to catch the different types of pike in Emerald. So all we're going to do is go to Emerald Lake. Fish around for a little bit, guys. You will catch the different pikes eventually, and then you will get the Franken bait, and I'll show you guys what to do after that. Make sure you head to Emerald Lake, grab a license here, and we can start fishing. Uh, for the pike, you're going to want to bring a casting spoon. I brought a 101. You can bring a different size one if you want. Narrow spoons work too. Whatever you guys feel like doing, you can even uh, float fish with uh, for them too. So it's really up to you guys. One more thing you guys are going to want to buy. Now, the pike slasher does have big teeth, guys. It can break through your line. So you're going to want to grab a titanium leader. Now, I'm using this one. This is the biggest one that I have unlocked right now at level 32 on my second account. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It's only 8.5 kilograms, so it's going to be a little bit underweight for Pike Clasher, but it should still be all right. We're going to go ahead and travel to Emerald Lake, and I'll see you guys there. But I'm going to go ahead and get the Pike. Now, if you don't know how to get the Pike here, basically just come over to the right side of the dock here, and you're just going to cast into this corner here with a casting spoon, and that's all you got to do. Eventually, you will catch the different types of Pikes, so let me go grab those, and I'll get the Frankenbait. All right, guys, so once you have the Frankenbait, you're going to want to come to a cloudy night 2100 hours 9 9 p.m every single night see here it's cloudy here you can fish the other nights as well but the cloudy night is where i caught them on my markers if you guys want to see both of these markers here for the pike slasher are both early night so that's what you're going to want to do now i am going to use um 3 or 2 hooks any of those should be fine you can even get them on one though it just kind of depends on what you have so i'm just going to go ahead and place one of those on there and place one of those on there i'm using 70 centimeters for the depth of my float rod obviously for the bottom rod i just left it the same but i'm going to cast one over here on this marker right here now this is about 37 meters out i will throw the conversion up for you guys uh, it doesn't have to be exactly on that area but anywhere in this area will be relatively good and you guys are going to want to fish here for about half an hour 45 minutes to an hour in game and then if you don't catch them, just move on to the next night. Kind of like we did with the dendro fin. That's all you're going to do. And uh, it might take you a few days to catch them. You might get lucky, catch them first night. It really just depends on your luck. Like every other monster, it can take five minutes or it can take a while. It just depends. But hopefully this will help you guys catch them. And I'll be back once I get them on the line. All right, guys, we have the pike slasher on here. And now, as you can see, my setup is pretty poorly balanced. Uh, it barely doesn't cap out there now. Uh, hopefully you guys have a better uh, more balanced setup than i have because it's going to take me a little bit to get them in here but you guys wanted to see me reeling in more uh it's going to be a little bit weird with this setup but as you can see 2108 we got them on uh so basically right at nine o'clock uh you're going to get them pretty early pretty fast uh hopefully we get them in here now this is also because the leader is so um so much uh smaller than my line too uh, but I'm sure you guys will have a more balanced setup. And I, if you guys don't know how to make a balanced setup, I talk about it in my beginner tips video. I'm probably also going to just make a video in general on how to make a balanced setup. But this right here is exactly what you don't want to have happen. But it was a lot cheaper to just do this instead of buying another rod, right? So I didn't want to have to spend more money on this second account. I'm already pretty broke on this account. And I need to, uh, I need to, I need to farm a little bit more on this account for these, for these videos here. You guys can see here. Uh, it's a little bit of a fight, so even if you have like an 8 uh, eight kilogram setup, it's still a pretty big fight. It's a 20 pound fish, right guys? A little bit over 20 pounds, so it's not going to be easy. But here you go, the Pike Slasher. We caught him on the, the second spot right there. I will pull up my map so you guys can mark the exact same spot. And remember, if you guys uh, stop by my Twitch and let me know, I can always hop on to this account here and send you guys the marker. I also have him on my main account as well, so... I can always send you guys markers if you need them. Uh, hopefully he's going to come in here. But this one isn't honestly too bad once you know what you're doing, guys. A lot of people just end up fishing all the way throughout the nighttime, and it's really, really hard to catch him if you just fish throughout the whole entire night. You just got to skip day to day, and this will be the easiest way to catch him for sure. 
We almost got him in now. Let's not break the line. And there we go. The Pike Slasher, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. The absolute legend. The monster Pike Slasher. Nice looking, cool fish. Look at how ugly he is, honestly. But pretty awesome looking. And that's all you guys got to do to catch him. Make sure you have the a big enough setup for him. Remember, 10.95 kilograms. Pretty big fish. You're going to need a decent sized keep net to keep him as well. So don't do this too early of a level. But there you guys go. Let me whip out the map here. There's the mission accomplished for the two bait coins and all that money and stuff. We got the trophy. Uh, let's set a marker. I mean, it's basically in the exact same spot as another one. So there you go. Three pike slasher markers right there, guys. You can put them down. And there you go. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have good luck catching them. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description to links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below, and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.